What if the very essence of democracy, the right to know who funds our politicians, is shrouded in secrecy? Today, we delve into the Supreme Court's recent decision on electoral bonds. Imagine a kind of financial instrument, an electoral bond, which is like a promissory note that can be bought by any Indian citizen or company from select branches of the State Bank of India. They can then donate this bond anonymously to any political party of their choice. Sounds simple, right? But on February 15th, 2024, the highest court of the land shook the political landscape of India by unanimously deeming this scheme unconstitutional. This decision has far-reaching implications for how political funding, the very lifeblood of democracy, operates in India. This landmark judgment has sparked intense debates, throwing light on the opaque world of political funding. Now let's examine the arguments that were made for and against this decision. The Supreme Court's decision was not made lightly. Several compelling arguments were presented in its favour. The first argues that the anonymity of donors granted by the electoral bond scheme directly violates the citizens' right to information. This lack of transparency could potentially obstruct voters from making informed decisions, paving the way for undue influence and potential corruption within political parties. Secondly, the court expressed concern that the scheme may provide an unfair advantage to incumbent parties. With greater access to corporate funding channels, these parties could potentially undermine the level playing field in elections, thereby weakening the very essence of democratic principles. Lastly, the court pointed out that the anonymity provided by the scheme enabled corporations to bypass existing limitations on political funding. This, in turn, could lead to an excessive influence of money in politics, further skewing the balance of power. However, like any contentious issue, there are those who see things differently. While the decision was celebrated by many, it also faced criticism. Here are some of the counter-arguments. On one hand, proponents of the scheme argued that it helped curb black money in political funding. They pointed out that the scheme offered a transparent and anonymous way for donors to contribute, which they believe discourages illegal sources of funding. On the other hand, some argue that the anonymity protected donors from reprisal and harassment, encouraging more individuals to participate in political funding. They claim that this expands the pool of contributors and strengthens diversity in funding sources. Lastly, concerns exist that enforcing strict disclosure requirements could create an administrative burden for political parties and the Election Commission. These opposition voices believe that the scheme, despite its flaws, had certain advantages that should not be overlooked. The divide in opinion underscores the complexity of this issue. So, what are the potential implications of this decision? The Supreme Court's decision is likely to have far-reaching implications. Let's explore some of them. Firstly, we're likely to see increased scrutiny of political funding. The court's decision could compel stricter enforcement of existing regulations, potentially leading to a more level playing field and decreasing the influence of money in politics. Secondly, there's an urgent need for alternative reforms. The government must find new ways to reform political funding that address the court's concerns while also ensuring transparency and fairness. This could involve stricter disclosure requirements, limits on corporate donations and exploring public funding options. Lastly, the decision could lead to political repercussions, especially for the ruling party, which has been the major beneficiary of the scheme. Opposition parties may press for stricter reforms and greater transparency. With all these considerations in mind, where do we stand now? This is a question that will shape the future of Indian politics and democracy. The Supreme Court's decision on electoral bonds is undeniably a landmark judgment. It's a pivotal moment that has reshaped political funding in India, having struck a balance between the need for transparency and the desire to curb black money. The court's stance on the violation of the right to information, the potential for an unfair advantage to incumbent parties and the circumvention of existing regulations has shone a spotlight on the need for comprehensive reform. On the flip side, we've also taken into account the counter-arguments, the belief that the scheme curbs black money, the protection it offers to donors and the potential administrative burden that strict disclosure requirements could impose. 
In the wake of this decision, we foresee increased scrutiny of political funding, a need for alternative reforms and potential political repercussions. But remember, this analysis is just a starting point. The full implications of this decision and its potential impact on Indian politics are yet to be seen.